My Planner is a tool in the student portal that contains the courses you should take in order to graduate according to your academic plan. You should plan out your courses semester by semester and register according to the plan you make so you can be sure to graduate with exactly the right courses and in as little time as possible. To use My Planner, first log into the student portal at my.ccc.edu. Navigate to My Planner by clicking My Academic Plan academic planning, and then My Planner. Once inside My Planner, you will see a summary of your preferred credit hours, your academic plan, your required units, and your planned units. The courses that you see in My Planner are determined by your academic plan and are put into semesters based on your preferred credit hours for the fall, spring, and summer terms. To update your preferred credit hours, enter a new number in the text box between 0 and 18 for fall and spring, and between 0 and 9 in summer, and then click on the Save Preferred Credit Hours button. If you need to change your academic plan, please meet with your college advisor. Below your preferred credit hours and academic plan, you will see a welcome message, planner option buttons, and your recommended sequence courses. To read about the function of each planner option button, check out the My Planner Help Guide in the Help and Resources section of the Student Portal. Carefully review the courses that are in your planner. You will see the term for which the course is planned, the course title, the description, the category that the course fulfills, and any notes regarding a course. To view a course description, click on the link under the description column. The View Requisite Detail column informs you if you have met the prerequisite to take the planned course. You can meet a prerequisite with your successfully completed coursework, your planned courses, or placement test scores. A green check mark means that you meet the prerequisite, and a red X means that you do not meet the prerequisite. Click on the red X to learn more about that prerequisite. If you would like to move a planned course into a different term, check the box next to the course, Select the new term in the drop-down and click Move. Each course in the planner fulfills a category that is required for your degree or certificate. If you see a row that does not have a course in the course column, you will need to choose one. To choose a course, click on the Course List link. The courses that can fulfill the requirement will be grouped into subjects. Click on the arrow next to the subject to expand the list of courses. To select a course to add to your planner, click the Add to Planner button. To remove the selected course from your planner, follow the same steps and click Remove from Planner. If a course is already in your planner the first time you log in, it is required for your degree or it is a strongly recommended course for the required category. A required course, such as English 101, will not have a course list in the Course List column. A strongly recommended course, such as Math 121 in this example, will have a course list. In order to change a strongly recommended course to a course that does not appear on the course list, you will need to meet with your college advisor. To see how your planned courses count towards your degree or certificate, click on View Planned Requirements. Click Expand All and scroll down to view your audit report. You will see how each of your planned courses is listed under the corresponding requirement. If you see a requirement that does not have a course listed, this means that you still need to select the course in your planner from the course list. To return to your planner, click the My Planner tab at the top of the planner report. If the human diversity and or the life physical science lab requirements are required for your degree, they will appear in the unassigned course section until you complete the requirement. You do not need to do anything with these course lines. They are reminders to you and your advisor to make sure that you plan to take the necessary requirements. As always, if you have any questions, please contact your college advisor or visit the Help and Resources tab in your portal.